Cubs, it's Zia. Welcome back to my channel. In a lot of my videos, I always get a lot of you complimenting me on my eyebrows, and I really, truly appreciate it. It makes me, it makes me so happy, <laughs> and I just love you guys. You guys are always so, so nice. There's a couple people who have been a little uh, not so nice, but those are very few and far between, so I feel very, very lucky to have you guys. Since you guys are always complimenting my brows, that I would share with you my current eyebrow routine. It's super simple, literally using two eyebrow products. I'll get into the details later. Now that I have told you guys what I'm doing, you guys are gonna see me with no eyebrows. My makeup looks so incredibly incomplete right now, like everything else is pretty much done and I have no eyebrows. So we have to fix this. My routine has changed. It's not exactly the same as it used to be. So I'm gonna share with you guys how I do it now. So first of all, I'm gonna brush through my eyebrows. That has not changed. And I'm going to take my eyebrow pencil. This is from LA Girl. It's in the blackest brown shade. I like dark brows. And I'm going to start with lining the top. And I don't do like one solid line. I slowly build it up. And I go a little higher in this area because you can see it's like, it's bald, nothing grows there. <laughs> so I have to go over that area really well and create the shape that I want there. Just filling that area in with tiny strokes. It really ends up being very solid. Look, it's already like a hundred times better. Now I'm moving to the bottom and I'm filling it in with tiny strokes. I find that if I use a darker color, I don't have to work as hard to get a bold brow because the color itself is so dark already. I don't have to work really hard to fill it in. It's not difficult, it just takes time and patience. I gotta be precise. Now this area is where it gets a little meh because it doesn't blend really well right now. So instead of creating the exact shape that I want at first, I go ahead and basically just pull this area straight up and then now I'm going to bring it down. Now that I have that shape done, I feel like I want this area to be built out a little bit more. So I'm going to go back up to where I was and just slowly build it out ever so slightly at a time because it can get out of hand. And I let it get out of hand very often. <laughs> I haven't even touched the front part of my brow yet. I'm going to take the spoolie from the pencil and I'm going to go over the areas that I filled in already and that picks up the color. So since it has color on here now, I'm going to take whatever color I took from the rest of my brow and I'm going to add it in here. because It leaves just a little bit of color but not too much to where it makes the brows really blocky. So I'm just brushing it up and out. Up and then out. You see this area where it looks like there's nothing there? That is where I'm going to add a little tiny bit of pencil. And once again, brushing it up and out. Up and out. And now for my holy grail brow product. It's the Ardell brow building fiber gel. This is in the shade medium brown and it is lighter than the color that my brows are right now. It's not super light but it's also not super dark. It's like right, you know, that's why it's called a medium brown. What am I saying? I like that it's a medium brown because it brings out the hairs again because right now it looks a little flat. So once I put this on, it just transforms it, takes it to another level. So what I do is basically the same thing that I do when I brush my brows. I'm going to brush everything up with this brow gel. And it definitely does build up the brows again. It's just that good. And it holds everything in place. I randomly picked this up at TJ Maxx a few weeks ago. And oh my god, it was so good. I think it's been over a month actually. It's probably been like close to two months ever since I got it. So right now you can see it's messy. Remember feather brows were like trying to become a thing, but they're not a thing? because that looks nuts. So I'm going to pull it to the side and straighten it out. And I feel like that just made like a huge, huge difference. It brings the hairs out again and makes them look even more full and it just it gives it more of a 3D effect. Whereas when I put the pencil on, it fills in the brows, but it also makes them kind of lay flat 
and this it does make them lay flat but it also fills them out more so they're a lot more mm, bold see how different it is it just looks so much better so done brows not done brows done brows not done brows all right you guys that was my eyebrow routine i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that this helped you out in any way really you don't need a bunch of fancy eyebrow products you could always just get a brown eyeshadow and fill in your brows with that like you don't need the super expensive anastasia brow gel or brow dip brow or whatever the hell it's called seriously i picked this up at tj maxx for 2.99 and this at ulta for probably also very close to 2.99 probably like 2.59 or something so for less than six dollars pretty much I got my brow stuff. You don't need all the fancy smancy, super expensive $30 brow pomade stuff. You could easily get really good brows using much more affordable products. All right, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you have not already. I put new videos every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if you guys stick around for those, because I would love to have you as part of my tiny little growing YouTube family. My fingers look so short, look. Look at them. They're like little Vienna sausages. I don't like Vienna sausages. Like I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to follow me on all my social media. I am Dizia Schultz on Twitter, Instagram, and on Snapchat. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.